Among those recovering tonight from the storm, a hero father who risked his life covering his child to protect her from the storm that leveled their home. The little girl walking away with scratches. Her dad is in the hospital tonight. Fox Wars Peyton Yeager is also at the hospital. She's in Waxahachie with more on their story. Peyton. Steve, the five-year-old little girl is staying with a family friend tonight. Meanwhile, other family members rushing here to Baylor Scott and White to be by that father's side. He's now recovering from multiple injuries after he protected his little girl as the tornado came through. He knew something bad was about to happen, so that's when he decided to cover her body fully with his body. Blaze Parker described the moment her father, Rob Parker, decided to use himself as a human shield from an EF2 tornado, all to protect her younger sister, five-year-old Paisley. The two's trailer home off Highway 77 in Waxahachie now leveled and unrecognizable. He had wrapped her in a thick blanket, my sister, um, wrapped her head and her body just to make sure that if anything were to go wrong, uh, they would be prepared in that aspect. Parker doing his best to prepare when the house started to shake. It was so strong that it made them fly 40 feet in between a tree and a truck. And uh, once they landed there, some debris had hit him and cut him. The 49-year-old father rushed to Baylor Scott and White Medical Center in Waxahachie. Parker now has staples down his leg, stomach, and on his head. Paisley released from the ER after a few hours with just scratches. They've been through so much and just, it, it just broke my heart. All of their belongings are gone. That's right, that's what Waxahachie is, just a big family. <laughs> Tuesday afternoon, community members dropped off donations at the Stagecoach Cowboy Church in Waxahachie, a few miles from the tornado's path. Elder Wayne Rowe knew it was time to step up. And we just wanted to do whatever we could do to help them at that point. The Parkers, unable to even see where the home once stood, but say they are grateful they have each other. I prayed so much and I just asked God to watch over him and her to make sure they were both safe and taken care of. Cowboy Church is still taking donations, shoes, toys and clothes. They are all welcome. Meanwhile, Rob Parker will stay here at Baylor, Baylor for at least the rest of the week. He is set for surgery and rehab due to the severe injury on his leg and he says he's lucky to be alive.